whatever the powers will be given in the reactant side over the concentration of the reactant that powers you have to add and then you have to give the order of the reaction in a zero order reaction the rate of a reaction completely does not depend on the concentration of a reactant the simple chemical reaction which occur only in one step are called elementary reaction hello everyone this is harshita bhava sir from vidya shram pu college temple of excellence today i am going to start session 2 from the chapter chemical kinetics in the last session we have discussed about introductory part of points of chemical kinetics rate of a reaction factors affecting rate of a reaction and dependence of a rate of reaction and also rate constant and its characteristics these are the concepts which we have discussed already in the previous session in the current session we'll discuss about order of a reaction molecularity of a reaction types of reaction difference between order and molecularity units of rate constant and some of the numericals order of a reaction what do you mean by order of reaction when you have seen some reaction e chemical equation how do you justify or how do you analyze which order reaction will be there so the sum of powers of the concentration of the reactants in the rate law expression is called order of that chemical reaction means whatever the powers will be given in the reactant side over the concentration of the reactant that powers you have to add and then you have to give the order of the reaction we'll see one example for ex general example see here a plus b giving rise to c plus d when rate you have given that rate of a reaction k into molar concentration of a and molar concentration of b its exponential will be x and y experimentally observed okay so order of x order x with respect to a order y with respect to b then what will be the overall order of a reaction what we have told sum of powers so x plus y if here one is there and here also one so order will be 2 next first order of reaction in order of a reaction also it may be first order it may be second order or it may be zero order reactions are present we'll see now first order reaction in a first order reaction the rate is directly proportional to the molar concentration of the reactant means the overall rate is directly proportional to the molar concentration of reactant some examples are radioactive disintegration is a first order reaction some radioactive disintegration next here two molecules of glucogen is reacting with water H plus catalyzed hydrolysis is taking place here. C six H twelve O six means two glucose molecules are getting formed. Mineral acid catalyzed hydrolysis of esters. Decomposition of hydrogen peroxide in aqueous solution. These are the first order reaction. Once again, the first order reaction is the molar concentration of the reactant is directly proportional to the rate of a reaction. Okay. next second order reaction in a second order reaction the rate depends on the squares of the concentration of reactant see here 2no2 gives rise to 2no plus o2 rate will be k into concentration of no2 to the square okay squares will be squares of the concentration of reactant will be second order reaction next zero order reaction here in a zero order reaction the rate of a reaction completely does not depend on the concentration of a reactant see here the in a zero order reaction the rate concentration is independent of the molar concentration of reactant means it does not depend on molar concentration of reactant and the reactant concentration of reactant and remains constant throughout the course of reaction some examples h2 plus cl2 in the presence of it is a photochemical reaction two hcl will form and ammonia in the presence of molybdenum or tungsten n2 plus 3h2 will form n2o at the presence of hot platinum n2 plus half o2 two hi that is hydrogen iodide in the presence of au gold h2 plus i2 it is all surface 
reactions and also presence of some of the catalyst. So this is a zero order reaction. Once again, first order, the rate is directly proportional to the molar concentration of reactant. In the second order reaction, the rate is depend on squares of concentration of reactant. Zero order reaction, the order or the rate will not depend on the concentration of reactant. These are the three kinds of order of a reaction. Next, types of reaction. There are two types of reaction, elementary reaction and complex reaction. What do you mean by elementary reaction? The simple chemical reaction which occur only in one step are called elementary reactions. Only in one step. Okay. Complex reaction means the reactions which occur in two or more steps. Some mechanisms you have been seen like that reactions means complex reactions. Next molecularity of a reaction. The number of reacting species, it may be atoms, ions or molecules taking part in an elementary reaction which must be collide simultaneously in order to bring about a chemical reaction is called molecularity of a reaction. Means number of reacting species. How many numbers of reacting species and whatever the species like atoms, ions or molecules taking part in an elementary reaction, taking part in one step reaction and which must collide simultaneously in order to bring about chemical reaction. Means it may be one step or it may be number of two steps in elementary, in a, a number of two steps. It should be collide to form chemical reaction. That is called molecularity of a reaction. Molecularity of elementary reaction. The molecularity of elementary reaction is equal to the number of reacting species as represented by balanced chemical equation. See here, ammonium nitrate N2 plus H2O. Molecularity is one unimolecular reaction. Here no moles have been given so it is unimolecular reaction. Here two moles of hydrogen iodide form H2 plus I2. Molecularity is two bimolecular reaction. Here two NO plus O2. Here two order, here one order. So molecularity will be three. So trimolecular reaction. Moles will be different. Here only one mole, here two mole, here two plus one mole. So trimolecular reaction. Okay. Molecularity of a complex reaction. It is the number of reacting species taking part in the elementary step of a complex reaction. The overall rate of a reaction is controlled by slowest step in a reaction called the rate determining step. Means molecularity of a complex reaction means it is the number of reacting species take part in a elementary steps of complex reaction. Complex reaction means it will takes place in two or more step. It will be considering elementary reaction first one by one step then next coming step. In that one slowest step will be there and it will be defined as or it will be termed as rate determining step. Example the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide which is catalyzed by iodide ion and alk in an alkaline medium. This is hydrogen peroxide. In an alkaline medium, iodide ion will be present to catalyze and it will form water plus oxygen. The rate equation for this reaction is found to be rate equal to minus into del change in concentration of hydrogen peroxide at given time equal to K into concentration of hydrogen peroxide into concentration of iodide ion. The reaction takes place in two steps, hydrogen peroxide plus iodide gives rise to water plus oxygen ion or iodide ion. Here hydrogen peroxide plus iodide ion gives rise to water plus iodide plus oxygen. Both the steps are bimolecular elementary reaction because here one mole, here one mole, here one mole and here one mole. So bimolecular reactions. Next, the difference between order and molecularity. Though order and molecularity resembles the same, but it is completely different. Order is sum of powers. Here, the number of reacting species is molecularity. So, we will see one by one. Order, it is the sum of the powers of the concentration, terms in the rate equality. And here, molecularity means the number of reacting species taking part in an elementary reaction which must collide simultaneously in order to bring the chemical reaction. Order it can be 0, 
and even in a fraction but molecularity cannot be zero or a non integer okay in order it can be half or zero or any number but molecularity should be whole number only order of a reaction is an experimental quantity it is a theoretical quantity molecularity is theoretical quantity order it is applicable to both elementary reaction and complex reaction it is applicable only to elementary reaction okay these are the major differences listed for the order and molecularity next units of rate constant how do you give the units to the rate constant for a general reaction a plus b gives rise to c plus d you know how to write the rate where x plus y equal to n the co exponential will gives rise to n means order of the reaction that we know k equal to rate by molar concentration of reactant so concentration by time into 1 by concentration taking si units of concentration mole per liter and time yes the units of k for different order reactions are as follows by using this concentration by time into 1 by concentration will be having this units zero order reaction order will be zero units mole per liter by second into 1 by mole per liter order will be zero okay so mole per liter in per second and first order reaction order is 1 units of rate of reaction mole per liter by second into 1 by mole per liter into to the power 1 because first so here will be cancelled out so second inverse will be present second order reaction order 2 mole per liter by second 1 by mole per liter to the power or 2 square gives rise to mole per per mole liter per second these are the units given for the rate of a reaction it may asked in your mcqs also so please be aware don't get confused in your rates in the numericals also you have to whether if they are asking for first order or second order or zero order you have to end up the numerical or end up the with solution with the units next problems in a chemical reaction 2a plus b giving rise to c plus 4d the rate expression is giving rate equal to k into concentration of a plus b to the power half what is the order of reaction order is for this 1 plus half giving rise to 3 by 2 see here this will be having only 1 and it is having 1 plus 1 by 2 what we will tell this will be if k into x b into half if nothing is there we will consider as 1 so here 1 plus 1 by 2 it is a mixed match 2 plus 1 3 3 into 1 3 3 by 2 order will be 3 by 2 as we told order of a reaction can be in a fraction or it can be zero next problem in a reaction 2a giving rise to product the concentration of a decreases from 0.5 molar per liter to 0.4 molar per liter in 10 minutes calculate the rate during this interval average rate 1 minus half into delta that is change in concentration of reactant at unit time minus half into 1 by minus half into what is this reactant r2 minus r1 divided by t2 minus t1 r will be here a so a2 minus a1 by t2 minus t1 so 1 minus half into 0.5 minus 0.5 divided by time this is at given time in the minute 1 minus half into minus 0.1 divided by 10 equal to 0.005 mole per liter per minute 5 into 10 to the power of minus 3 is molar per minute okay this is how the reaction or a rate of a reaction will be calculated in the given or in this interval time this is how the order of a reaction molecularity and types of reaction with its numericals we have seen in the next session we'll discuss about integrated rate equation zero order for the zero order reaction first order reaction and significance of first order 
rate of equation the rate constant for first order gas phase reaction i hope you have understood completely whatever i have thought today we'll meet in the next session thank you